Super U, WKYU, Western. As a junior, I became interested in radio, and uh, I started more or less just hanging around the station and, and meeting people and uh, finding out exactly what I'd be interested in. I uh, was a lab assistant for one semester, then I became the uh, program director, and uh, it was a natural course of events, I guess, that I would become a station manager. Uh, I just you had more and more responsibilities and finally you know that this is the top thing as station manager. Through WKYU I felt like I've become a more well-rounded broadcaster. I've learned how to do production and sales work and at the same time I've learned some basic things about managing uh, being in a management position and when I go into radio I, whether I get a job right off the bat in a management type position or whether I start at the bottom, I'll still know how you know to do all these basic things that that lead to the to the uh, management position. And if I aspire to be a manager or own my own station, then I just I'm that uh, more much more well prepared to do that type of thing if I want to. Right now, these are I'm filling out our daily log sheets, and uh, from these we're able to make out our program logs for the for every day in our regular operation. And what I have to do is decide what spots to run, which hours, and uh, mark it on this. And then at the end of the month, we can go back and uh, check these uh, against our program logs for the day and uh, make sure that they've been played. And then we can, from there, we can decide how to bill our customers. That's really all there is to it. WKYU is uh, a, a competing station uh, in the community, uh, we do sell advertising, so we uh, are competing against the local radio stations. And uh, in that respect, we have to be as professional as we can. Uh, as far as on, on campus, we program only to students. Our signal doesn't go out beyond the campus, so uh, we're trying to play the kind of music and program the type of things that students are interested in. In the next break between this record and this one, I'm going to have to play a little bit slower cartridge because this is a fast song and this is a slow song. So the cartridge will help make a transition into the slow song without making it seem, you know, so abrupt. So I've got my cart in the uh, number one cart machine. My record queued up on the back turntable. So all I've got to do is punch this button, flip this switch. When I punch the button, the car will cue and take off and uh, flip my switch and the record will go. And I've already got my record queued, so it won't wow. It'll just go straight into the song. Should be pretty smooth. Coming in at number four this week on the WKYU Music Survey. Area current radio is a limited area broadcasting system that is accomplished by sending an audio signal from a control room like the one you see here at KYU to the various dormitories on campus. Then in each building, dormitory, there's a transmitter which is coupled to the power system. And in actuality, we could say at WKYU, our antenna system is the entire wiring system of every dormitory on campus because the actual signal, rather than being radiated from a tower 150 feet high out in the middle of a cow pasture somewhere, is radiated through the wiring system. That's why uh, someone coined the phrase radio in your walls, because KYU is, uh, is being radiated from the walls of all the dormitories. Carrier current, in terms of its function here, and in terms of what KYU is doing, uh, it seems to us provides a unique learning experience for the student. Uh, if you operate uh, a low-power FM broadcast station, as many schools do, you're not allowed to broadcast commercial matter. And the thing we were interested in doing here was to establish the most realistic, uh, the most practical broadcast curriculum possible for the students in radio. And on WKYU, these students can be involved in sales, 
They can be involved in the billing procedure and the writing and recording and production of commercial copy. So in, in every possible way, we try to operate WKYU as close to the real world radio station to prepare these students to succeed in broadcasting. And my sales manager job is I have nine or ten salespeople working under me and our main job is sales. We uh, have a client list of about 50 people that have something to, have something to offer Western students. And so we have that divided up to each, each salesperson has about 12 clients and they go out and sell airtime and we have special packages, our music specials, and it's my job to help them along and with any problems or to take care of the clients that are, um, say, not too partial to them and let somebody that's got more experience or is better at it, which I am supposedly am, that's why I got the job to do. And um, <laughs> it's mostly working with music and sales. Uh, we function as any normal radio station does in the, in the big world. We sell airtime, that's how we make our money. We sell 30 and 60 second spots. We have package deals where you get $50 worth of advertising for $30. It's just like a, any, any other radio station. It, it functions the same way as far as selling. You must know your product, you've got to sell yourself. Um, you have to develop a, a type of rapport with your client. Like I have clients that I just stop in and talk to, not necess necessarily uh, giving them a pitch. You know, it's, it's a process of, you have to go back and see them and sell your product. You've got to know your product, you've got to sell yourself, you've got to sell the station, and then eventually they will buy. We have a sales account list of about 50, 50 or so clients. And what John Humphrey and I did was we sat down and just put people's names on a piece of paper and drew a name and picked a client. That was what we did for that. But now for the people that pr had proven themselves uh, a better salesperson, they got the clients that were more willing to buy and the people that didn't do, do so well got the clients that weren't so uh, willing to buy it, that would make them work hard, it was more of a challenge to them. Uh, my main function is to uh, listen to all of the music that comes into WKYU and to decide what, uh, what we are going to program or put on the air. Uh, we get music in from uh, everywhere and it's my job to listen to these 45s and albums as they come in and decide which cuts are good and which ones will uh, make WKYU sound good. A lot of our music comes from Nashville. Uh, we're in a very good location here because Nashville's just like an hour down the road. Uh, we can uh, get pretty good service from the record companies in Nashville and also some of our music comes from uh, Los Angeles. Uh, what happens in class, I mean a teacher can uh, tell you all about radio but uh, unless you're out in the uh, field professionally really you're not very much good at anything. Well as production manager I'm the final say of what goes on the air here at the station that is on carts. The music is into programming, I'm in production. When the the people do spots promos, station promos, things like that, do commercial announcements. It's my final word. It comes onto my desk. I listen to it. I approve it for quality, for continuity, for articulation, everything else, for listenership, if it fits in the KYU format. The classes in WKYU, that's what it is. We're professional. We're a professional radio station, but this is a laboratory. This is just as important, if not more important, than what we learn in class because this is actually there. I mean you can take someone and put them down in a classroom, give them a book and have them open it and read it and learn everything and take a test and spit it out and then leave. And they may not remember it two weeks from now. But if you learn how to segue up here on the air while the tape's rolling and while you're on the air, while people are calling in screaming they want to hear Billy Joel or something, if you can do your segues right then, you'll do it from now on. It's like riding a bike. Basically, my job entails making sure somebody's on the air when the station's supposed to be on the air or that programming that's supposed to go on the air during a particular time, making sure it, it's where the, uh, the person who's supposed to run the programming uh, knows where it is, making sure that uh, if we decide we're going to do any remote broadcast like uh, Western Lady Topper Basketball, making sure that the equipment is either uh, at the field house or it's, uh, uh, it's here and it's able to be, it's able to be made, it's made available over there. 
that's basically what I try to do. Uh, and I try to make sure we stay on the air. Uh, try to make sure that when equipment breaks down, our engineers are made aware of it. Be able to, to work with everybody and, and try to understand why somebody doesn't tell you they're not going to show up for an air shift and uh, you know, why the newsman wasn't here at 6 in the morning when he was supposed to be, or, or you know, dealing with problems, you have to, you know, you have to deal with them uh, understandingly. It's as close to the real world as any radio station I've worked at.